What do you do when a high quality company in an industry that's very much out of style on the Wall Street fashion show? Some of the reports are truly spectacular quarter. That's the issue with CyberArk, CYBR. It's the Israeli cybersecurity company that helps companies protect what are known as administrator accounts or privileged accounts, which are the most common targets for hackers because on any given network, these privileged accounts hold the keys to the kingdom. Now, we know that the cybersecurity space is in true secular growth mode. There's no denying that, with businesses spending more and more to protect themselves against online threats. But these kinds of turbocharged growth stocks have been out of favor in the market this year, which is why HACK, H-A-C-K, the cybersecurity ETF, is down over 11% for 2016. And that brings me to CyberArk. Back on May 5th, the company posted some magnificent results, earning 23 cents per share. Wall Street was only looking for 16. Higher than expected revenues of 43% year over year. Robust guidance for both the next quarter and the full year for 2016 fiscal. Plus, management indicated they haven't seen any kind of slowdown in cybersecurity spending, which is very different from what we've heard from some of the weaker competitors. Here's the problem. CyberArk is doing incredibly well. Nobody seems to care. In fact, the stock's up really more than a dollar since the company reported those stellar numbers two weeks ago. Sooner or later, though, I bet it comes back into style. So let's check in with Udi Mukati. Udi is the founder and CEO of CyberArk Software. You hear more about his company's prospects and what it's up to. Mr. Mukati, welcome back to Man Money. Thank you. Good to see you, Udi. Good to see you. Udi, this is a great quote in your comp school. And in it, you talk about how that your company is in the early innings and you're seeing the pace of awareness accelerating, definitely in the U.S. Some of the other guys are seeing it decelerate. What are you doing differently? We're in a new market. It's a new layer of security. So what we find is that it's a greenfield opportunity. We walk in, we sell to the customer, we find they did not have the layer on the inside. So there's growing awareness now, and it's expanding. But you already have 33% share. Is it really possible to get more share than that? We, we are the market leader in the right. space, but we're moving in a space that mostly did perimeter security, focused on walls. We're selling vaults on the inside. And so most of the market is a tr truly open opportunity, U.S., EMEA, and APAC. Now, one of the things that I think is a way for people to judge, because I think people at home are really trying to figure out, well, do I want to be in this? Once you're in with one, you tend to get much more. What is that ratio of once you're in to getting more of the business? Yeah, we found that uh, customers uh, in a given year, a third of our customers in a given year come back for more the following year. It has to do with quality of products, has to do with quality of service, and the fact that the privilege account security is not a project, it's a program. It covers all IT assets of the company to protect those keys to the IT kingdom. One of the things I think is that people have to understand, most of the companies that are high growth in the 40%, they don't make any money. Your company actually is not gap, non-gap profitable, but actually gap profitable. How can you do both grow in the 40% and also make money? It's in the, in the DNA of CyberArk. We were always mission critical software. And our customers always wanted us to be really resilient. So in the founding, even as a private company, we, we looked hard to make sure we're making prudent decisions on everything we do. So we grow top line with high profitability. Now, there was a piece out, a really positive piece by Goldman Sachs, talking about the total addressable market opportunity. Market opportunity. Right now they're saying it's like 400, 400 million, but it could be multiple billions in a short period of time. How does that happen? Yeah, because we're seeing that every company uh, needs this, and we, we look at the top 10, 20,000 enterprises in the world, they can easily spend a million dollar plus, uh, a billion, and, and, it's, and, and out of every company, uh, we can grow to multi seven figure deals. And so when you go down market, you're, we're looking at a huge opportunity. It also, you emphasize that you're seeing growth acceleration in the vertical and health healthcare and the government healthcare, government business. Which governments? Yes, uh, both healthcare and government doubled oh, for us. Uh, US, both healthcare and government do doubled for us. U.S. government is, is a great opportunity. In Q1, we actually talked about all government business doubled compared to Q1 well, last year. Well, for what kind of base? Uh, off of a smaller base, right, okay. but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, we're a company that expands very much from the commercial side to the government. Q3 was a record government quarter for us, and we see it as a greener than greenfield opportunity. All right, which ones are you allowed to talk about? Are there any government ones you can talk about? Uh, not really. How not about really. healthcare? Uh, not really. All right, can but, uh, you give us a um, uh, kind of just a paradigm, <laughs> paradigm up? Yeah, I, I would say great adoption in federal in the federal space. And on the healthcare side, it's both health insurance companies, but also hospitals. We reported that two of our top 10 deals in Q1 included major hospitals. So they're really seeing the light. They're being attacked by ransomware. Um, they, what, they, tell, tell, people don't know what ransomware uh, ran, is. Ran, ransomware is a way to hijack a computer, encrypt the data, come in, encrypt the data, and hold the key. And if you don't pay through Bitcoin and other means, they won't release the key. And Why don't I read about these attacks more? It's, it's happening a lot. It's happening a lot. Uh, oh, the FBI, ransomware. So. Ransomware. Uh, the FBI reported last week that there's an uptick in ransomware, not just against uh, pe people in the, the public, but also against businesses. Have we ever caught anyone who did ransomware? 
Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I mean, but, so these guys are out there, and the they're asking for there. Bitcoin so they can't be traced? Yeah, and they can be overseas. And so they infiltrate, they How encrypt do we find the data. Them? Well, this is, you you got to find these guys. So, so we leave it to others to find it, but there's okay. a way to protect against that initial infection. Make sure that the endpoints don't get infected, and so that the ransomware can't run, and that they right. can't get to the critical servers. And right. it's part of our solution. Wow. i I, I got to learn more about that. Now, the last question I have is that the Goldman piece has something that I hadn't thought of you, but because you're profitable, it's certainly reasonable. They're actually using an m and takeout basis. They're saying, you know, in the 50s, you're no, no desire to sell, do you? I'm a founder. I, I, we're here to build a large global information security company, and we're on that path. Do you, can you tell Goldman, look, we're not about that? Oh, they, 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 they know that we're, we're building a real business, and they, they, they've spoken to customers, and they see that we're mission critical. But of All course, right. we always do right by our but shareholders. I want people to know they're making money. Almost every other company in this segment is making sales, but not money. That's Udi Mukati, he's president and CEO of CyberArk. Ransomware, all right, I gotta learn more. <laughs> Stay with Kramer. Booyah, Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.